morning, friends. I don't know if you can tell. See if I can even tell if I've even got them in there. That's an eagle. Maybe two. Let's see if I can see them. Well, I tell you what, the chicken saw them and in they came. I, they were running. Uh, this other one looks like the chicken hawk is beside it, but it may just be a, a, I don't know what a male eagle looks like. They don't have the white head like the other one, but there's two of them right there. And the chickens do not like it. They're pretty high though. I don't think that if they're, I think if they want to eat them, they won't be that high. Yeah, they're both eagles. I see the white on both of them now. Ugh. I guess they're thirstier than they are afraid with Mama out here. And I think Hazel's finally given up on her, her nest. It really stunk over there this morning. I think she finally opened the door up and let her out. Cause, uh, it... Where are you going, Hazel? You don't want to go up there. There's some eagles out. You don't want to be the eagle food. You need to get down. Get down, Hazel. Well, I'll tell you what, I can't see out here. The sun's so bright. Oh, shit, right there. She was ready to get out and get her get her wings going. Don't see those eagles anymore though. Let's the other side of the barn. Let's see if I can see them. I'm really glad that you can't smell this. Um, Hazel finally gave up and I let her out. And I, first thing I did was grab the, the nest. It stunk. Oh my goodness, it stunk. I tossed the eggs and they were just about, I don't know, halfway made. And they, oh my goodness, they stunk. But there was only two eggs left out of 18. So, Evidently, all this time she's been figuring out that the um, the babies weren't going to make and been eating them, I guess, because they're nowhere in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is clean this cage out and see if I can get a hand delay somewhere and probably put her and Jesus back in there. What is that? That looks like blood. Uh, I wonder if there's another dead chicken somewhere. I guess I'll look around and see who's hurt. I've got two I'm, I'm going to put um, Megan on a, on a nest somewhere. She really wants to sit so bad. Her and another little black one wants to sit, and I just don't really have space for them. There's an egg right there. She's assumed the position. She's getting ready to lay one. I don't think that's the one she just laid. Could be. waiting for baby girl huh what are you waiting for
right there. That's where I'll put her. I'll put her right there. It'll be a big enough space for her, and I can put her some water and some food in there and give her a nice little nest. That's exactly what I'll do. That'll be perfect. And they can't bother her that way. That'll work. Oh yeah, cooking up breakfast. Doesn't that look delicious? It really, really does. Mm-hmm. You know, when you have a white kitchen floor and you have chickens, then this is the way that your silver grout looks. And when you decide that you're going to change it and fix it, this is the way that your silver grout looks. Now, I've still got to sweep and, and seal this floor. But, you know, that compared to this, is a t I mean, that's what I've been doing for the last few days. You can see right here where it goes. Well, you can see where I haven't swept yet either. Here to here, you can see it starts getting lighter. I don't have much light on in here either. You can see how light it gets. I'm excited. Here's a look at the garden for the last time, the way it is. Um, look, you can tell that the girls have done all the work that they need to do. And it is time right now. I've got horseradish coming up right over here and they're, they're digging into it pretty hard and heavy. I sure do like my horseradish. I don't want them to mess it up. And I had some I don't know if it's going to come up or not, but I had some oregano right there, and I had some oregano right there, and uh, who even knows. So today, I'm going to be tilling this part of the garden, and I will let the chickens have fun with it for a while, and then I'm going to close them off, and they'll be done out here until I decide that I'm going to do something different. And. Uh, they're doing real good. They're outside right now. Boy, they're sure enjoying it. It's going to be a thunderstorm this afternoon. That's why I was wanting to go ahead and get this done as quickly as I could this morning. And hopefully it'll be good and tilled for whenever it rains. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I have been, well, maybe not. Maybe I'll show you what I did. been doing these the past few days that I haven't been in the in the mode of <laughs> they I gave them pumpkin again I still have about I don't know six or seven of them left and filled it with some raspberries and cherry tomatoes and uh, let's see a little bit of squash ahead left and uh, some cucumbers and then put kefir on top of it and boy they just went after it yesterday but it's still pretty hard so it's kind of, they, they'll come up and peck at it a little bit, and then they'll go do something else. But it's a bit tough for them to get anything out of there. So yesterday, you can see they already knocked this over again. So yesterday I came in, well, I uh, totally revamped their, their cage, got everything out of there that was there, and put him there, took the nest out. He's excited. He's back with her. Look at him. <laughs> He says, yeah, I'm happy. I got Hazel back. She's my girl. Yeah, he's excited. And then I've got my my little magnolia is right here for a while. So I'm going to probably end up putting her somewhere else. Now I've got this this cage right here that's free. And um, I could get my little thing here. Okay got a couple of hens that actually really want to sit and I want to take advantage of that but it's, they want to sit but whenever you put them on a nest this is what they do they'll get in there and they'll tear everything up and they won't want to sit 
and they want to sit where they want to sit. I put her in there a couple, three days ago now, and she is still not calming down to sit. She gets up and moves around too much. She will not, she'll tear the nest up and tear up the eggs. No, I don't want that. And uh, this little girl right here wants to sit too, and this little girl here wants to sit. So I just wish I could have a place that I could put them that they wouldn't get like her and just go crazy inside of a cage and just calm down and sit down on the nest. I told her, now once you get calm and sit down, I'll give you some eggs, but I'm not going to give you any eggs until then. And so she said, okay, I'm not going to do it then. Maybe you can let me out now. <laughs> so as you can tell, there's always work to do on the farm. And uh, little Poppy, he's alone again and probably going to rest up some more. There, all the chores are done. Everybody's got food. I've noticed that when I gave, since I've been giving them that 20% food, they have not been eating as much. And they get it all over the floor. You can see right there, it's all over the place. But they'll come back and eat it, especially once I let it run dry and that's all they've got left. They'll come back and they'll scratch through and get it. But um, I'm thinking that it's a good thing to have that 20% because maybe they're getting more nutrients and they're not eating so much and getting so fat. When they get fat, they can't lay their eggs as easy. It's harder on them. And uh, you want healthy chickens, but you don't really want fat chickens. And this girl right here, she's <laughs> virgin, but she's got a lot of uh, feathers. She's just a fluffy hen. That's just the kind she is. She's a coaching, and they've got lots and lots of feathers, and they just get all fluffy. Now, this girl right here, she needs some help. She's fat. She's the one that, that keeps lopping over, and it's it, you can't do that with a hen. It'll make them... It'll, it'll kill them in a minute. And uh, I've still got to get rid of some roosters. They just won't let me catch them. I don't wonder why, huh? Did you do it? You just did it, didn't you? You just did it. She just laid one. I was hoping to catch that, but I didn't get to. When they do that, they're assuming the position. You can tell... When they look like that, they either just laid one or they're getting ready to lay one. You can tell it's, well, it was still wet just a second ago. It's not ready anymore. But, yeah. They're all doing really well. I just, I love them to pieces. I wonder, is that an egg down there? What is that? Looks like a, looks like an egg that somebody's doesn't have a shell is what it looks like. Okay, well, so y'all have a wonderful day, and I've got lots and lots of work to do. I possibly have someone coming over this weekend that wants some of this, uh, there's another one, that wants, uh, it's two, uh, some of this, some of this bedding, and, uh, so. So hopefully I can get some of this out of here because it's going to be real hot real quick. It's supposed to be 90 next week. Of course, we go from winter to summer and summer to winter. We don't really get anything in between. And uh, so we're going to be uh, having to get this out of here pretty quick. It's just, it gets too hot. You know, they say that chicken poop is hot. It, it's literally hot. And that's why you have a, the layer method um, during the winter because it actually helps keep them warm but boy in the summertime you got to get it out of here because it will it'll it'll just build up heat in here something fierce last but not least this is week three for the baby chicks and you can see right now how many feathers that they have on them um i don't know if this is gonna actually really sh whenever i get too close it'll only focus on the um the cage instead of on the chicks but I decided that, boy, my, my um, focus was getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And I, I'm a grandma. I don't really know a whole lot about SD cards and all that kind of stuff. But I took the SD card out of my phone and downloaded it on. I, I bought a, a external hard drive with like five terabytes so that I could keep some of my videos. And it wouldn't, down, it wouldn't kill any of my, um, my like my... Uh, my phone or my um, tablet or my, my laptop. And uh, so I downloaded them all, and I think it's going to be a lot better for qual picture quality. 
but you can tell, boy, these girls are really changing colors. Um, some of them look like they're getting kind of dark, actually, around their neck, and I thought they would be white. So it's going to be pretty, pretty fun to see what their egg colors are going to be. I'm excited. Well, okay, with that, I'm going to let you go. Y'all have a great day. See you on the next one. Please like, share, subscribe, and do all that. They say that if you don't ask, nobody will do it, and if you ask, they will. So here you go. Thanks a lot for watching.